Hello everyone, this is Shrims here. Today I'm about to speak about my tribe, the Garos. The Garos are one of the few remaining matrilineal society in the world. Garos are a matrilineal society but are not to be mistaken to be matrial child. While the property is owned by a woman, the man govern the society and domestic affairs and match the property. The Garo have their traditional names. However, the culture of modern Garo community have been greatly influenced by Christianity. Therefore, talking about the weapons, Garo have their own weapons. One of the principal weapons is a two-edged sword called Mulam, made of one piece of iron from hill to point. There is a cross bar between the hill and the blade where a bunch of ox tail hair is attached. The other types of weapons are shield, spear, bow and arrow, axe, dagger. Talking about the clothing, the traditional dress of the Garo movements is Dakmanda and Doxuri. Same goes to the men. Today, a large part of the Garo community follow Christianity with some ruler pocket, practicing traditional enemies religion known as sorcery. Consisting of indigenous group who settled in Garo Hills and the ancient enemies religion, beliefs and practices, deities who must be affiliated with rituals, ceremonies and animal sacrifice to ensure welfare of the tribe. But as Raven Ramkre W. Momon was the first devout Christian from among the girls and who have become the Christian, we don't follow such practices. But we follow the culture, we follow our tradition too, so that, yes, we are once a headhunter, we are the Garu, the Archer.